Well, hello everyone, Tech 88 here, and welcome to another review. And now I'm looking at the ZX Spectrum version of the first Torrican game, which Rainbow Arts released in 1990. Now, the version I'm most familiar with um, in the for, of, of this game is the uh, uh, Commodore Amiga version, which had some excellent um, m music by German composer Chris Hulsbeck. And um, that is that, and I still have fond memories of of his music in that, uh, in 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 some levels of that game and in its uh, its sequel, Turrican Two. But I, although I was aware of the Spectrum version, I've never actually played it, uh, and uh, it when I looked up just now, it seemed to get pretty good reviews and that's a really nice colourful loading screen so I'm I'm hoping that the rest of the game will live up to this uh, early promise. Uh, press fire to start. Loading level 1, 1, press fire. Nice uh, colourful bit at the bottom there. Ooh, a triple shot. Ooh, nice colourful graphics here. Now remember, this is a spectrum, so the, and you've got the power line which you can uh, rotate around you. A little bit of a twee sound effect, but the spectrum's uh, sound capabilities are very limited. So uh, that oh, so, so that green bar just uh, just below it, the just be below the time and how many crystals and so forth I've collected that the, that that green bar is my actual energy level. If it depletes to nothing, then I'm a goner. Scrolling's a little bit jerky, but then they had to do that because of the sheer amount of colour they've put into this. Oh, I think I can just get up there. No, hang on. Oh, just. Right, so. I am really liking the colourful graphics. Damn, I couldn't get... Come on, let me get that, thank you. And in the bottom left corner, you can see what look like three ninja stars. What those actually are? Oh, good! I was able to get that. What um, what those actually are? Um, are you can turn into this whirligig thing to get you through small gaps, or make you, uh, or get you through some, or otherwise get you through somewhere quickly without. Uh, oh, um, without being able to take damage when you were like that and you can do that a maximum of three times in a life and and the only thing that can kill you when you like that is um is falling off the bottom of the screen or bottom of the playing area anyway oh crikey I wonder if there was ever a 128k spectrum version because um, I, I reckon that would have been really good if they could have had a version that had some uh, some music. Like, um, I mean, it wouldn't have sounded anywhere near as good as the uh, the uh, that of the Amiga version, but because that's a 16-bit machine with superior technical capabilities. But it it would have been interesting to see uh, to know if there is a version which has in-game in music, be it by Chris Hughesbeck or otherwise. Oh, uh, yes. I would have preferred it if it was a power up there. A good triple shot. Well, everything everything flows very well, and it's the, and the controls are okay. 
can't complain about the controls. They're very responsive. For the... Oh, shite. I couldn't jump up in time. Ah, good, you don't get upset. You pretty much spawn where, where you died. This is really quite nice. I'm, I'm actually su pleasantly surprised with this. And the fact that I've already played a 16-bit version is not a prohibitive factor in, in my enjoyment of the game. Oh. Okay. I seem to be doing, uh, falling in. Oh, I've got to the end of the level. And I've got three lives coins what's in the bottom left corner. So I can't jump over those. God, God, did I need that. Oh, the... This has got the actual famous fist enemy from the... Uh, for, which I remember from the Amiga version. Oh god, thank god I wanted to destroy it. I've got very little energy left. Oh. Hmm. That enemy reminds me of a certain uh, of a certain xenomorph for that was created by Hans Rudy Giger. For a certain uh, 20th century fox um, franchise. I can't, now what was it again? Answers on a postcard, please. God, I need energy. Ah, oh, good, I'm invincible for a little while. Ooh, it's got the lightning effect for, that I remember from the Amiga version. That's pretty cool. Trouble is I've got virtually no energy and my invincibility run out. Uh, and as in the Amiga version I've played previously, that uh, if a lightning bolt uh, hits you, you get hurt. Oh no, if another... Another lightning bolt hits me, I'm a gonna. Oh no, that wasn't. A, that wasn't. A, no, it, uh, if anything hits me now, I'm dead. Oh, I was gonna die anyway. I, I had literally a very tiny sliver of energy there. The extra time. I believe that's extra time. Oh, damn it. That is a problem. You're quite often jumping blind. So it's sending me back to level 1.1, despite the fact I've selected continue. Right, that's one of those things I told you about. Which is, so now that's why I've now only got two of those showing in the bottom left corner. I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that those clock icons allow you to temporarily freeze the enemies on screen, but because there were no enemies on screen at the time, it didn't have any effect. It was good of them to use uh, use quite a lot of colour in this because it because it, it because there's so many Spectrum games that are in monochrome. Uh, having having a, a judicious use of colour helps to uh, helps them to stand out from the crowd a bit more than they might otherwise have done, and this certainly stands out from the crowd. Oh, I forgot about those uh, those time bombs that you could lay. That's um. I've got two of those left. That's the uh, that's the icon on the bottom display. That's second from the right. Those to use those, you just uh, press uh, press down and hold fire. Right, I'm invincible for a bit. Oh, 
I still can't believe they actually managed to put that fist uh, enemy in. That's that's that fist enemy is one of the most iconic enemies in the Torican universe. It's one of those enemies you always remember it once you've seen it for the first time. Oh. Oh, I see. I've, I remember those from the Amiga version. Those are the, every so often you get these uh, these little boxes that only make their presence felt once you've shot uh, where the, where they are for the first time. Oh God, bloody hell! God, you really got to be careful with your jumping in this because uh, because there's so many bits where you could uh, could inadvertently fall uh, fall down. No shit. Oh dear, I'm going to die. Unless there's something down here that I can land on. Nope. But because I lost a life, it means I've got all three of my um, Whirly Geek um, things back. And I've just lost half my energy because of that... Uh, whatever that thing. I'm actually really quite enjoying this. I mean, obviously, there's some, the, the the sound effects and graphics were never going to be up to the standards of the uh, of the um, the um, Amiga version that I'd seen previously, as I said, because that's um that's a 16-bit machine, whereas this is only 8-bit and it, and and uh, therefore has limited technical capabilities. Ah. Uh... Jump. Let's see if there's one of those boxes. I hope so, because I could do with some power ups. No, I can't find anything there. Let's see if there's any on this side. Ah, yeah, there's one. Can I jump on top of that, or is it too high up? Oh, I can't get in unless I can actually get on top of it because it's just off screen. Oh, I'll do it that way instead. I'm really quite enjoying this. I'm, despite the limitations of the spectrum, this is really uh, this is really quite good. Nice use of colour, virtually no clash. Oh, bloody hell. Character by character square and scrolling due to, uh, to avoid, pre prevent colour clash, but... No, I'm, I'm really quite, quite impressed with this version. I mean, I was expecting it to be a disaster, but uh, Rainbow Arts have really pulled one out of the bag with this one. Got plenty of power lines. I've got six power lines, six of those mine. really impressed that they managed to fit that fist in. I mean, admittedly, it's not as big as in uh, in the Amiga version I've played previously, but uh, they, there had to be some compromises when trying to get colour into the proceedings and uh, while uh, minimising on clash. There's the occasional bit of clash, but by and large, it's, um, 
is done really well. Damn it, I couldn't get that. I've got to remember this bit. This is where I have to be careful not to fall over down the waterfalls. Those, oh, damn it! He says and falls down one. Oh dear! I think I'm gonna um, I'm gonna leave it at that. So that's that's Turrican for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Uh, a pretty enjoyable romp, really. It's got some uh, some wonderful, colourful graphics, uh, for, and they've and it's made great use of colour while they're substantially minimising on clash. It's not slow. I didn't see any slowdown whatsoever in all that, even when there was a fair bit on the screen. I mean, even when that that fist mid that fist boss came on the screen, things didn't slow down. And the the controls are, are responsive and simple to get to grips with. Uh, I was expecting it to be a disaster, but but Rainbow Arts have done a really good job of bringing that to the humble spectrum. It would have been not nice if uh, if there could have been a 128k version with um, in-game music, assuming that there isn't already one. I don't think there is from what I can make out, but I could be wrong. I mean, I mean as it later turned out, when I reviewed the Elite Super Trucks, it, I thought there was only a 48k version, but there was actually a 128k version that I didn't know about. So apologies for not finding out about that particular version in time. I'm hoping the same problem hasn't happened here. So, so gameplay's over. Uh, gameplay is really good. It, it's um, it, the controls are responsive. Pretty much every time I wanted the main character to do something, he did it. Uh, so as I said, scrolling is character by character. So it's it's not as as smooth as it would have been had everything remained monochrome. But by putting in some as much color as they did, it helped to to elevate. Um, Elevate it to something that to, to, that makes you stand up and take notice, and by and large, it succeeds. If I had some some gripes, the the, uh, the reduced playing area caused by the fact that they're using that kind of color means that, uh, and the generally smaller resolution compared to sixteen bit versions means that uh, you can't see as much of the screen, so you do quite often jump blind. I mean, admittedly, there are points where you're jumping blind in the and taking leaps of faith in the Amiga version, which I've mentioned that I'd played previously, but but it's a it may be it may be a bit more of a problem in this because of the reduced um, a reduced resolution meaning a, a reduced playing area compared to that version but apart from that i i really can't complain about it uh, and i would happily give Turrican on the zx spectrum 8 out of 10 i'm really impressed with that version and i hope it um, I hope if this has piqued your interest that, that you'll be willing to give it a, t a go your turn. Just bear in mind the limitations of the hardware that uh, that this version is on, is is on. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. I certainly enjoyed playing this game. Texie eighty eight out. <laughs>